<sighs> hmm, how should I start this one? Okay. <laughs> It is currently two o'clock here in Key Largo and we had a little late start to the day. I've been working on the boat all morning, but it's gonna turn on first try. We don't really have a game plan today. I feel like you shouldn't make a game plan because then, you know, it's kind of like open-minded. Yeah, it's kind of late in the day, so I think what we're gonna do is just head out to the Patch Reefs right out of Key Largo and look for Ballyhoo. Try to catch some live Ballyhoo and then I don't know, we'll go from there, but there if we go. see some sailfish, maybe we'll catch a sailfish. We're not gonna catch a <laughs> sailfish. <laughs> Let's see if the engine turns on on the first try. What do you think, Caitlin? Of course it's gonna turn on. All right, here we go. Did you see how smooth that was? <laughs> Did you see how smooth that was? Let's go catch some fish. Let's do it. We got crystal clear blue waters and we are in 22 feet of water right off the reef's edge. 200 feet that way, it's 80 feet deep. So we're literally right on the edge of where it drops down. And we're just drifting right now. I got a chum bag out, nice chum bag. You see that juicy goodness? Oh yeah. We just got it floating back and we're gonna wait for the ballyhoo to show up. I already see some yellowtail back there, but then we got our ballyhoo net, which we just deploy like that and it kind of floats back with the current. And when the ballyhoo swim in front of it, I'll pull them in and we got bait. We didn't bring any bait, so there's yellowtail there. We got nothing to throw at them. No artificials, no nothing. We, we're doing it. Yeah, boy. Oh yeah, got ourselves some ballyhoo. Woo! Right into the live well. <laughs> All right. One live ballyhoo. So we're gonna use the new South Florida Fishing Channel yellowtail hooks. These come pre-rigged, or you can buy them not rigged. They come in 15 pound and 30 pound. We're gonna use the 15 pound one. We're gonna go light action here. One of these comes with a barrel swivel already attached to the end of it. This guy right here. I already have a barrel swivel on this rod, so what you do is you just, you take the rig, it's got a loop at the end, snap it on, and this is just straight a 15 pound Power Pro going to a barrel swivel, and then I just snapped on the yellowtail jig hook. Here I got a small piece of cut ballyhoo. We'll just stick it right on the hook like that. Super simple. Now you flick it, Flick it right back there where the yellowtail are. Okay, yep. it's got it. See it's taking line out? That's how you know you're hooked up and BAM! Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha! Woo! Heck yes, let's see what we got. I'm gonna guess it's a yellowtail. <laughs> oh yeah. Yellowtail snapper! He's a keeper. Yep, 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 he looks good. Good and juicy. Now let's go and measure him. So a yellowtail snapper has to be 12 inches with a pinch tail. He's a little over 12 inches. I think we should let him go. Fish karma gods. He's kind of small, he's legal, but we're gonna let him go right here, right now. Her plunk. Bam! Feels like a yellowtail. Woohoo! Little boy, pretty little boy. Swallow it whole. Man, I was getting schwacked, but then it just stopped. Come on, eat it. Bam! Oh, it, it, what? Oh, <laughs> got off. Yep. Oh, 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 something's messing with it. This is like ultimate tease. We got a ballyhoo on the free line on this rod here. Something's messing with it. Mm -hmm. Perhaps a sailfish. 
Okay, <laughs> well, the yellowtail were all a little small that we caught. So right now we're trolling six knots, trolling two little feathers along the patch reefs, looking for some good bottom. We're in like between 12 and 30 feet of water. When we find some good bottom, we're gonna throw the anchor. Fingers crossed, that's where we catch the big one. Real big one, really big. Really big. Like really big. One wiener later. And we are in 38 feet of water. Turn the engine off. I already threw the anchor. Put a chum bag out and uh... What are we gonna do? <laughs> Why are we out here? <laughs> what are we doing again? Catch us some oh, fish. Oh yeah, maybe? we're gonna catch a fish. A fish. A fish. One big fat fish. Yeah. Just if one if it's like a good size, that's good enough. One good sized fish. Oh snap! Oh, let's see. It's fighting good. Like yeah. it feels strong. Oh, is that a grunt? Heck yeah. I haven't have caught a grunt in the longest time ever. You know, this guy is so good pan seared. Mm. He's a little small. If he was bigger, I would have kept him. Oh yeah. Look at those colors on him. Toodles. Get it, girl. Yeah. Little guy. I feel like it's the same grunt you just caught. Literally it. Really? Oh, I'm on. Hold on. Oh, look at the phone's about to break. Holy snaps. We got another grunt. Oh my god. Hey, this one's oh, this one's a getting a little bit bigger. Yeah, man, these pants here are actually really good. Bam, look at Cheers. that. Cheers. <laughs> grunt and grits I, I heard was really good. I'm gonna keep this one. So we got one one grunt that's going in the box just so we have something to cook. I'm glad we got one fish. That's that's enough. Enough to make grunt and grits. You don't even like grits. I know, but I've never made grits. I've only bought them. I don't know, they just taste kind of dry to me. Like grainy. You probably just haven't had them like properly. Here we go. You got a fish? BAM! <laughs> yeah. Ooh, what we got here? Is that a grouper? Oh, it's a hind. Oh. On the yellowtail hook. So cute. Oh my god, how little it is. What's going on here? Oh, I've been robbed of my dignity. Ready? Ready for this? Ready? Bam! Oh, fudge! Dang it! Didn't set the hook on that one. Oh, he's back! He's back! You guys suck! Oh, must be a little one. Just swallow the freaking thing. Swallow it. I can do it quick. Okay? I'm just saying. Damn, yeah. Oh, mm, yeah. Ooh, this guy feels good. Heck yes. Come to daddy. Oh, we having grunt and grips today. <laughs> grunt and grits. All right, two grunts should be plenty to make some grunt and grits with. Blam! Oh, it's another grunt. Why is he so yellow? Oh my god, he's got jaundice. Jaundice? Yeah. Is that when your liver fails on you? Yeah. Dang. He's been drinking too much down there. Check out this grunt. The ones we've been catching before were more like silver, white. This one's like yellow. He's had one too many drinks. Now his liver is failing on him and he is turning yellow. Adios. Bye, oh, he got off. Oh, he's back. He wants more. He wants some of this. Come on. Bam! Oh, suck it. Yeah, got him. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, oh he's small. But look, he's white like the- Like the other one. Yeah, he's not all yellow. Later, bro. Come on. Oh, this feels kind of like a yellow tail. <gasps> it's a yellow tail. Yeah, yeah. You know. Now that's a nice way to end the day. Woo. Beautiful, good one. Yeah, he's going in the box. So now we can have yellow tail grunts and grits. Yellow grits. Yellow tail grits. That's a good looking yellow tail. I got a big boy. Oh, what could it be? What? Oh, look at that grunt. Okay, we are done slaying the grunts. We're gonna ride into the sunset now. 
Ooh, looking real pretty tonight. Tomorrow morning, what are we gonna have? Grunts and grits. Grunts and grits, and one yellowtail. I personally don't like grits. Caitlin loves grits. I love them, you're gonna like them. I've had grits probably like 20 times in my life and I've never liked them, so. You eat raw eggs and raw like animals. Like raw baby quail eggs is so much different than grits. What do you mean? Grits is like. So we're gonna make grits tomorrow and we'll just see how they, see how they taste. We can't open the pepper, so I'm gonna shoot the lid off of the peppercorn pepper shaker thing. <laughs> With 25 cal. Don't try this at home. Ready? Ready. Three, two, one. There's pepper everywhere. Is how you freaking get to your peppercorn. We blew the lid right off of it. Hell yeah. And that's some good smell pepper too. The following day. Good morning guys. It's a little chilly out here but the fish has been sitting on ice overnight. We got ourselves two grunts and a yellowtail snapper that I'm gonna fillet up and we're gonna make some grunt and grits. Actually I guess it's grunt snapper and grits. Oh we got a bird right off the dock back here, kind of just chilling. He's probably hoping that I throw him some of this fish as I fillet it up. It's always good to see wildlife out here. Looking real cool, looking real cute, and making me feel right at home. A grunt isn't something I would normally target one of these guys. However, they do taste amazing. And yesterday was kind of a, uh, well, we really had no plans yesterday. We kind of just went out. We didn't go to any spots I had marked. We just looked for, we just drove around and looked for stuff. Sometimes you don't find anything, but you do find the grunts. You just drop a small yellowtail hook down on their, ooh. That bird just scared me. Small yellowtail hook, put a piece of cub bait on there and just drop it down on the reef and you should find fish or you should find grunts. There we go, we don't want any bones, so we're not keeping the rib cage. We just want the nice tender piece of meat. And there we go, two yellowtail on the left, and then four grunts on the right. We rolling? We're rolling. Hmm. Put the cold brew down. Grunts and grits. So there's, there's two parts to grunts and grits. The grits, which we got cooking here, which is three cups of water, one cup of whole milk, and then one cup of whatever grits you want to use. And then once the grits are done, we're going to add some jalapeno dices into it, some tomato paste, and some hot sauce. That's how you make the grits. Now the fish is going to go on top of the grits. And to make the fish, I got a bag here with panko, salt, pepper, and some cayenne pepper. We're going to take the fish and run it in the in some melted butter. Ooh, that's some hot melted butter. All right. Then we're gonna bread it in here. Since we don't have an oven, we're gonna use a toaster oven. We're gonna lay them all in there. Come get a close-up shot of these beautiful breaded grunts. And the two big ones are the yellow tails. But we're gonna take some Parmesan, put it on top of them like this. And then we're gonna bake it at 350 degrees until they turn a golden brown color and then we'll know they are done. All right, uh, what did I say, 350? Three, 350? Three mm -hmm. And we'll just start them at 12 minutes and then we'll check them. Time for the, uh, the grits. The grits are kind of looking pretty much done. So we're gonna add the tomato paste. 
three fat spoonfuls of tomato paste. Well, actually we'll do like two nice solid spoonfuls. Diced jalapeno, jalapeno, depends how you say it. And some Tabasco. This is Tabasco habanero. This stuff is really good. And we'll mix all this up. Are you excited, Caitlin? Yeah, this looks amazing. You love grits. I love grits, yeah. I have no idea what I'm what's what's to come. I'm excited. We'll just mix this on up. Keep it on like a warm heat setting until the fish is done. Okay. I can already tell you this is gonna be I think pretty good. So the grits, they look pretty good. I may have put in a little too much tomato. I'll keep it to one spoonful next time, not two big ones. There we go. Oh my gosh, the fish looks so amazing. The Parmesan is crusted over so nicely. All right, put that right on top. Holy smokes, holy smokes. How's that look? It looks so good. I'm taking a picture. You see that? On the camera? Yeah. Here we go. Ooh. Actually, this is kind of cheating because this is the yellowtail. So oh. I'm going to also put a grunt on here. I can already tell you the grunt and the yellowtail are probably going to taste equally good. <clears throat> I want to start with the with the grunt. There we go. That's a genuine grunt and grits all in one bite. I think that's the first time I've ever actually liked grits. Ooh, yay. Mm. Let's try the fish just by itself. This is grunt. We might have to go back to that spot and load up on grunt. <laughs> Man, that grunt is good. Let's compare it to just the yellowtail. So grunt versus yellowtail, let's give it a try. Equally good. Yeah. They are cooked the same way, so wow. Mm. Okay, okay, that's enough. I'm starving. Well, I thought I hated grits, but dang, those were good. Come here to the Keys, go catch yourself some grunts, and make yourself some grunt and grits. Tomorrow, I'm going sword fishing, and then a few days after that, we're taking a helicopter, we're going deep into the swamps, and we're gonna try to get ourselves a hog. So if you aren't already subscribed, what are you doing, man? Yeah, there's gonna be some epic content coming out. If you like this video, hit that like button. And if you wanna support the channel, head over to SouthFordaFishingChannel.com and uh, buy yourself some yellowtail jigs, some yellowtail hooks, or like any of the other tons of rigs I got on there. Or maybe even get yourself some merch. Get a nice shirt or sweater. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I love you all, and cheers.